Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my top 10 Netflix movies to watch this Christmas season. Um, thank you again for joining another 12 days of Christmas video. I have really enjoyed making these for you guys, but today I'm going to do the adult ones and then I will do like family friendly ones. So let's just start off. All of the, the lists will be linked down below so you can have it for easy reference. So you can go and check out all of these movies. I have been watching Christmas movies and shows since about the beginning of November. So I'm quite the connoisseur now, but um, let's get started. So the first show is um, called Sugar Rush, and I am not a huge baking show girl normally, but during Christmas time, I just get into the season and I love a good baking show. So Sugar Rush, it has two seasons and it's a competition. And at the end, these expert bakers, so four teams of expert bakers compete against each other and then they get a eliminated through each round and they compete for $10,000 and it is just so good and you're going to see the most beautiful cakes the most beautiful cupcakes the design everything these people have talent and it is gorgeous but it's a little bit different because they have such a time crunch so it's hard to get everything done but you're going to see how they maneuver and I just love looking at beautiful holiday treats and watching other people eat them the next one is also, and I'm looking down at my list, is also a baking show and it's called Nailed It. But this one is the opposite to Sugar Rush because these people are horrible. They are not expert bakers. They're not even very good. And you follow their journey um, as they go through different levels of the competition. There's like a panel and they try to make different desserts. And they also get eliminated. And the person that winds up at the end um, is the winner and they win $10,000. So it is really good and I love it. So one sugar rush watch expert bakers this one watch bakers that aren't so good but it's still really good and then my next one vanessa hudgens do you guys remember her from high school musical she has become quite the christmas movie queen on netflix so um i'm gonna my number three and four are two movies that she stars in the first one is the night before christmas and night smelt spelt k-n-i-g-h-t um and it talks about a night that got that is placed in modern day times and then just kind of the love story that persists after that um so kind of like a uh modern day cinderella story but with a knight um and then the next one i absolutely love this one and it is princess switch and this one is about twins one is a baker one is an actual princess and they flip roles and there's a part one and a part two and it shows um what happens when they switch so um one falls in love of course with a prince and then the other one falls in love with a baker and it's just really cute and then part two picks up where part one left off and it just continues on to their story and journey so number three and four number three is the night before christmas and number four is princess switch part one and part two make sure you go check it out and then the next um, movie is Christmas Heritance. And this one has been on Netflix for quite some time. I think it came out in 2017. And it's about a rich party girl that has to move to a small town. Well, go to a small town and do a project. And then she winds up staying there a little bit longer than she expects. And you see how she starts to fall in love with the small town and the people that live in it. So that one is really cute, really sweet. So Christmas Inheritance, go check it out on Netflix. Um, my number six is The Christmas Prince. And this one also has a part one and part two. And if you guys ever watched... Um, I zombie um, they have it on Netflix as well um, the lead character in there I don't know her name she's a blonde but she plays in this um, 
movie, both of them, part one and part two. And she's a reporter that is going to um, England to do a story on their royalty there. And it shows how she also, I don't know why all these Christmas movies, they're falling in love with princes and I'm not mad at it. So it shows how she falls in love with a prince and their story. And then the second part, she's preggers in that one. So it goes through that journey as well. So Christmas Prince, part one, part two, go check it out. And then the next one is another Christmas Prince movie, but this one is about a doctor who, um, her, one of her childhood friends, they kind of had a falling out. He gets injured. He's a prince, of course, because it's Netflix and it's Christmas. And, um, he has to stay in her hospital and it shows you their little journey, their little Christmas story and how they get to know each other again and get reacquainted. And of course, probably that just seems the theme of most of these Netflix um, Christmas movies. And like I said, your girl is not mad at it. And then the next one is This Christmas. So probably the only big Christmas movie on my list. This has been around for quite some time. Um, it follows an African-American family and just their Christmas journey. So each of the characters, everything that's happening in their life, it is so good. I love it. I've probably watched it a million times and counting, but it's just definitely one to have on your list for Christmas. And then my next one is Holiday. And this stars Emily Roberts. I think she is so funny and just all the shows that she plays in. So America Horror Story is just her kind of personality. But um, this follows her and um, her journey and trying to find dates for the holidays. And you'll see how she works everything out. But Holiday is so good, so cute, and it is really funny. The next one is Dash and Lily. I think I've talked about more than 10 movies, but I will have everything link, linked down below. But these are two younger kids. And they, Lily, her brother convinces her to do this kind of scavenger hunt to find her Mr. Right. And um, it's really cute. And you'll see how the characters, they will interact but not know that it's each other. So it's just really adorable. Dash and Lily, a little love story. So apparently on Netflix, I just love love stories for Christmas. And that's okay. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out that Netflix favorite Christmas movie list down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.